Welcome to the Getting Started with Freeway 5 tutorials. This is the second of three which will show you how to create a simple website. This tutorial covers master pages, hyperlinks and shows you how to build a multi-page site. In the first tutorial we created a single page in Freeway. By the end of this tutorial we'll have a multi-page site with links established so that users can navigate through the entire site by clicking on hyperlinks. We'll be looking at master pages in this tutorial and one thing to remember is that everything placed on a master page together with any formatting and functionality applied to its items will appear on every page created from that master. So when changes are made to a master page all the pages created from that master will have the same changes applied. It is important to remember that when working with master pages if an item is moved or edited on the page created from that master those items will lose their connection to the equivalent item on the master page. We need to have the Morris Cowley file we created in the first tutorial open so get a hold of that first and then we can start building more pages and some navigation. When working on multi-page sites the site panel which is to the left of the layout or document area becomes an invaluable aid to navigating around the site to edit and manage your pages. The site panel has two distinct parts. The master pages at the top and normal pages below. The site panel also doubles up as the page panel. You can toggle between these two states by selecting a page in your page list and then clicking on the site bar at the top of the panel. In page panel mode you will see a list of all the items used on that page. The list of items viewed in the page panel mode can often be the simplest way to find an item to edit, for example when you have a stack of items on top of each other. In this case you can select the item by clicking once on its name in the page mode of the site panel. We started the first tutorial with a blank template and created the whole page on a normal site page. Now we've created our first page we know which items we want to use on every page so we can place those items on a master page. For this tutorial we will create a new site and make a master page in it with the same settings as, as the page in the first tutorial. So open the freeway file for the first tutorial if it's not already open. Now choose file and new and create a new document using the blank template as before and give it the name tutorial 2. In the new document click on the master page. You'll notice that the rulers in the master page are yellow and this helps remind you where you are. Change the width of the page to 700 pixels and again set the align to centre. We want the same page background colour as before so we'll go to other and again it's 204, 255 for green and 204 for blue. We want to import the header bar graphic which we used for the header before and again we'll set the horizontal tiling to center and vertical to top. We now want to move content from the original file to this one. So if we choose the original file in the window menu we can select all the items we want to be on the master page. So I select the logo and then I select the Morris Cowley text by holding down the shift key and also select the item with the word photographer in as well. And I go to edit and copy. I go back to the new document and go to edit and paste. Freeway remembers where those items were and pastes them in exactly the same place on the page. We'll now copy some of the page specific items from the old document to the new one. So go back to the original document and this time click, hold and drag over all the items on the page you want to move. And again when they're all selected go to edit and copy. We then go back to the new document and in the site pane click on the untitled page and then go to edit and paste. And now our new page has got all the content of the original document in it as well as master page items. By default Freeway names pages 
Untitled 1, Untitled 2 and so on. We want to give this page a more meaningful name. So if we option click on the name in the site pane, we can rename it. I'm going to rename this page Welcome. Earlier in this tutorial, we discussed how the connection to an item on a master page is broken if the item is moved on the site page. To prevent this from happening, it is good practice to lock an item on a master page. Click once on the Master 1 page, and then select one of the items, and then click on the General tab on the Inspector palette, and click on Lock. We can also control click on an item and choose lock in the contextual menu. We've now fixed these items to the page and if we go back to the child page and try to move them you'll see that they are fixed. Now we've got a master page containing all the items common to the pages of our site we can add some more content pages. We'll add a gallery page containing examples of Morris's work and a contact page so that visitors can get in touch with him. To create a new page, go to Page, A New Pages, give the page a name, and click on OK. And we'll do the same for the contact page as well. And Freeway has now given us two new pages in the site pane to work on. When you change the name of a page, you are just changing the title of it. You have to be aware that there is also the file name which Freeway normally assigns automatically and you can change that if you want to as well. The file name is what the server will use to serve the page when you view it in the browser. Normally you don't have to worry about the name of these pages but just check to make sure that the welcome page is called index.html. This is important because it will be the first page served when somebody visits your website. Most ISPs use index.html but check with them to make sure that that is correct. You can change that to their default name if you need to. For the contact page we want a text block in exactly the same place as the welcome page. This is very simple to do as Freeway remembers the position of copied items. So we select the item we want to copy which is the text block with welcome to my website and we go to edit and copy and we then move to the contact page go to edit and paste and the item has been positioned exactly the same place as before. We click inside that item and select all the text and press delete to remove it. We can then go to the file, import text and navigate to the tutorial 2 and 3 media folder and select the contact.txt file. We open that, Freeway brings in the text from that file and places it in the box. Just check that all the text is at Georgia and 14 points, which it is. Select the first line of text and change that to bold and 18 pixels high and we'll have the text box positioned on the page as we need it. Let's add some visual interest to the page. We draw a graphic item on the left there and in the general tab of the inspector palette we'll give it X position of 10 pixels a Y position of 165, width will make that 288 pixels wide and height 490 pixels. With that item still selected go to File, Import and we'll choose the Backlit Shells JPEG image in the new Tutorial 2 and 3 folder. Control click on this graphic item and choose Graphic scale and trim. Let's add some content to the gallery page. We'll only be adding the items at this stage. In the next tutorial we'll be adding the functionality. So we click on the gallery page in the site panel, select the graphic tool and draw a graphic item on the page. Type gallery inside that item and change the font to Helvetica Red Regular and make the size 24 pixels high and we'll also centre align the graphic in the box. With the text still selected enter 40% as the spacing. 
command click on the item and give it values of 0 for the x coordinates 195 for the y coordinate make it 700 pixels wide and 32 pixels high draw a small graphic item on the page and make it 60 pixels square apply border in the appearance tab of the inspector palette select white for the color give it a size of 5 pixels and make sure the border is positioned on the inside we want to position the items at 10 for the X position and 247 for the Y we're going to use this to create a row of thumbnails across the width of the page if we go to item duplicate enter 8 for the number of copies and then 77 pixels for the horizontal offset and click OK we're now going to import a picture into each of these boxes one by one so select each item in turn and use import for the first one we're going to choose beach huts for the second one we're going to import weathered sea wall for the third one it's going to be birds at low tide for the fourth one it will be footprints in wet sand fifth one groins in winter sixth one low tide runnels seventh one marsh the eighth one misty riverside and for the ninth one wheeling gulls then select each item in turn and go to graphic scale and trim and this will give us a nice row of thumbnails for our gallery page click on the graphic tool and draw an item below the thumbnails we want it to be positioned at 145 for the X and 345 for Y on a width of 399 pixels and height of 266 go to file and import and select beach, hut, beach huts jpg and again control click on the item and go to graphic scale and trim in the appearance tab we want to put a board around this item so we click border with shadow and we need a white 9 pixel border set to outside and a shadow with 50% opacity and an offset of 8 pixels We'd like people to be able to navigate around the site so they can see the gallery and contact Morris if, if they want to. So we go to the welcome page and click in the welcome to my website item and double click on the word gallery. We can send people to the gallery page. We click on edit and hyperlink and choose gallery from the list of pages. We can do the same for the contact page. We select the word contact page go to edit hyperlink again and choose the contact page in the list of pages available we've now got links on the welcome page which take people to other pages in the site now we'll create hyperlinks on the contact page these are going to be different types of hyperlinks to those created on the welcome page the first is an email link and the other is a link to an external website 
So click on the contact page in the site panel, select the email me here text and go to edit hyperlink again. Click on the external tab and choose mail to in the protocol drop down and type in Cowley at softpress.com as the email address and then click OK. Now select the word soft press in the text and again go to edit and hyperlink. And this time in the external tab select HTTP as the protocol and then type in www.softpress.com and because we want this link to open in a new window, choose blank from the target drop down and click on OK. We'll now create a simple text navigation for the site. If we click on the master one page and then draw an HTML box in a blank part of the page, somewhere near the bottom, and click on that and type in welcome gallery contact page select all the text make it 14 point Georgia and center align it select the word welcome and go to edit hyperlink and choose the welcome page and do similar things for the gallery page. Choose gallery and contact page as well. We want that to lead to the contact page. Come on, click on the item and using the inspector palette, position it at 349 pixels for the X and 677 for the Y. Make it 350 pixels wide and the height should be 22 pixels. The last time the site was stated, we previewed a single page by using the preview button below the toolbar. However, to test hyperlinks, the site will need to be previewed using one of the real browsers you have on your computer. So go to File, Preview and Browser, and choose one of the browsers from the list. I'm going to choose Safari. Freeway will build the site and present us with the home page. And we can have a look around the site. We can see that there's a gallery page we can visit and we can also visit the contact page. And we also have links to the soft press site and the email link as well. This completes the second tutorial. For the next tutorial we will be using this freeway file again and add some dynamic effects using freeway actions.